Hi everyone. This video is a companion video to my blog post about Ansible and Netbox integration. Um, this video specifically, I'll be creating a playbook that is going to reach out to my routers and back them up. Um, it's going to be using Netbox as a dynamic inventory for this. So I'm in my uh, working folder and let's take a look at the files I have in here first. I'll quickly go through the files um, and then we'll go ahead and run the playbook and see the results. So first thing is I have my Ansible configuration file. And the key here is that for inventory, we're using the netbox underscore inv file that I've created here. So let's take a look at that file. And you can see here we're using the netbox Ansible plugin, reaching out to my netbox. And I'm grouping the files by device roles. Now this is something that comes from Netbox. So if we go into Netbox, look at device roles, I have router and switch. So specifically, we wanna back up the running configuration of all of my routers. So there's 10 devices in there and I'll be running my playbook against the routers group. The other thing it does is uses compose to create the Ansible network OS variable from the platform.slug. And again, that's something that comes from Netbox as well, where if we go to platforms, we can see I have this platform named iOS and the slug is lowercase iOS. Now the last thing we need to look at is the actual playbook. Okay, so you can see from here, we have a play, which is called playbook to backup configs on Cisco routers that basically reaches out to the hosts in the routers device role. We're not going to gather facts on them. And the connection we're using is network CLI. We have two different tasks. One is to show running config on device. So we're just going to reach out to the device using the iOS underscore command Ansible module and just run show run. It'll take the output of that, put it in a variable that I'm naming config. And from that config, it's gonna use that. So std out zero starts the beginning of that output. And it's gonna take that output and put it in the backups folder with the inventory host name dash config text file. So basically we're doing a show run, we're getting the output, and then we're gonna create a text file for each specific host. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do before running the playbook is just take a look at our backups folder, and we can see that it's empty. So in order to run the playbook, we use the Ansible playbook command. And the name of the playbook, again, is backups underscore playbook. We're going to use the U option to specify my SSH password to the routers. And then we're going to do K so that Ansible prompts me for the pass password. So you can see SSH password. I'll type it in. And now the playbook will run. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video just until it finishes. It shouldn't, shouldn't take too long, but. Okay, now that the playbook is finished, we could take a look at the results. So for the task show running config on device, all 10 devices were okay. For the task save output to backups folder, something changed. So if we go ahead and look at the recap, again, we kind of see the same information, but we see two for okay. And that's because both tasks were uh, completed successfully for these devices. And changed is one. And what specifically changed was the save output to backups folder, meaning that if we go into ls backups we should see we have a file for each of the routers and if we look at one of them so let's look at the config for r1 we can see here is my routers config and we could do the same thing for r2 all right so that's how easy it is to run. So the last thing I wanna show you is item potency in Ansible. 
So before I do anything, let's just run this playbook again. And if I typed in the password correct, which it looks like I did, I'll go ahead and pause the video again until this finishes. Okay, that was actually fairly quick. I probably didn't even need to pause the video. But now we can see the difference in the two outputs. Where before we had this task to save output, we had changed for all of them. Now we just have OK equals 2 and changes equals 0. That's because the file was already created and there's no need to change it. This is what idempotent in Ansible means. And we could show it a little bit further. Is let's say we go to one of our routers. In this case, I'll just go to R6. And let's just make some kind of configuration change. Let's um, create loopback 66. OK. Now that that's changed, let's go ahead and run the Ansible playbook again. I'll pause the video and we'll see what happens. All right, we can see now that the play is completed. And if you look, you can see that R6 is changed, but the rest of them are just OK. And that's because of the configuration change. So if I go into, uh, let's just go into the backups folder. And I'm going to cat R6 config text. But we can go in here now, and we should see the loopback interface that I had just created. So this is one of the great things about Ansible is that you know, if there's no need to change, to change something, it won't. And unless something in the configuration actually changed, there's no need for it to write a new file. So I hope this video is pretty clear along with the blog post, which again, I will link below. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them here or leave it on the blog.